Okay, today we are going to do pentagonal prism problem with respect to big angle. Okay, how to do it in solid it's okay. I will show this problem we are going to do. So this is in uh, straight line. So we have to construct a pentagon here with respect to it is on the left hand side. Make sure this icon has to be on, maintain the relationship. This icon has to be on to use a polygon by center. A top is into A, B, C, D, E. Similarly, we have bottom to center A1. A2 So to find out the center of the axis, so we'll be drawing thin lines. Okay, the perpendicular bisectors we have to draw. Okay, at least two, three perpendicular bisectors we have to draw here. Okay. So three perpendicular bisectors drawn. This one is. So by projecting the lines, this is length, it is sixty. So first uh, We have to write that is E dash, 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 Dash is equal here. C one dash is equal. V one dash not visible. Similarly, here we have V one dash is not visible. So now we have to go for base edge inclination. So angle of inclination to axis here 45. So we will go to base edge inclination. Base 90 plus 
40 degrees. So, so here the inclination we have to give that is 50 degree for the base head's inclination. Okay. Now go to rotate. Starting first edge, second edge, give the angle. So angle we have to give it is 50. In rotate, first edge, second edge, angle. So if we extend this, so here the angle of inclination it is. So we can select exactly that Enter. First, So here we getting an angle exactly forty degree. Now projecting downward. So project it down to so these vertical lines. So from this Project professor, I can do it. So, here we have a This is B1. This is C1. D1. And this point it is similarly for the top is also can write A. This is A, this is B, this is C, this is B. And this point it is A. So now we have we know the three concept that is writing the outer boundary line here first. Starting from this A1. Okay. A1. Next B1 to B here, then to C point, okay. then to D, then to E, then to E1. So here the pentagonal face also visible, that is written with a continuous line. And this also visible as A A1. So this pentagonal base not visible from the top view. So it is written with a dashed line. And this uh, rectangular face also not visible. D D1. This is even. Now, if it's an axis, connecting from so now, so it's a bit angle problem. We have to draw an angle right like here. Okay, I will trim with this extra lines. Okay. 
So angle line, I'm going to draw. It is 30 degree. So here the angle we have we have one so we have to get thirty means uh, how much one twenty angle line. I think it is minus uh, 150, minus 150 degree. So it is 30. So now it is an uh, beta angle problem. First arc length we have to consider that is 60. So from this reference point. Start length is sixty. Enter. Then locus line. Next, uh, the dimension line. We have from O to O. O to O, and we have to measure this. Distance between is 45.96. Go to our way center. Okay, the continuous line it is how much? 45.96 meters. Okay, axis line. Next yeah. okay. So then find out angle 41 degree. So here also we have 41 degree. So now we have to join this. So then go to rotate it. Select this point and this and place it on this axis line. Okay, now we have to project it. This will be take a face notations. Okay, first from D. So here D dash, I'm sorry, D and D dash, have it right here. Okay, similarly, so this is continuous line. From C to C dash, we have this. Okay. E to dash and then E to D dash. And finally, we have. O. Can write the notations. So now you see this point is this point is this point is this point is this C dash and uh, E dash we have D dash and E dash. This point it is. Okay, similarly, can write for the bottom face also. So from this D1, it is still here. Then again from C1 to D1. Then finally from D1. So till here, yeah. I can Yeah, I 
Patients, okay. So, so even line we have extend again because we did not get exactly. Finally, we have this O1. So now we will make the final rotations. You can see that D is the nearest point. D to C, D to E, and D to B. So first uh, we are write the dashed lines here. So dashed line from D to C dash, and D to C dash, and D dash to D dash. Over everything written with the continuous line now. So we need to here and then we need to here. Okay, now the vertical edges. We want to. Then finally we have an axis. So this is uh, completes our problem. Okay. Same thing we have done. 